Hello friends, welcome to the Courses Tutorial Series. A lot of time we have faced a challenge where we have only one system but we want to test multiple software at the same time or even the communication between two PLCs in the laptop. But by default when we are using Courses Control for the Windows, it runs only with a single instance and it doesn't provide any option to run of the multiple instances. So in this tutorial, I am going to talk about how we can run multiple instances of the Codesys control for Windows. So by default, right now I am running a single instance of the Windows Codesys control, so which is a normal way of working. So I can download only one, one software at a time. So I cannot test multiple. So how we can create the multiple instances? So Let's check it out that. So in order to do that, we have to do few of the manual steps and after which we will be able to run the multiple instances of the courses control. So first we need to go to the version uh, which is installed in the program files and then we will see there as a folder which is called as a gateway PLC. Now what we need to do is we need to copy and paste this particular folder into the same directory where our version of the code is inst installed. Now when we copy and paste it, okay, give it a different name. So I have given here the gateway PLC one as you can see. Now inside this one, what exactly which service runs and what are the configuration. So we have code source control where we need to provide a path of the soft PLC where the folder is located where exactly all the downloads will happen okay so in this particular file if you see we have working directory which we need to configure and it is in the program data so program data code says code says control for windows win 3x64 now if we go into this particular folder so let's go into this particular folder we already have one instance already configured so let's first go into this particular folder so here you can see that for the different versions we always have a different folders created so I will copy and paste that uh, folder again and give it a different name. So as I have given here in the path name as a win plc1 so I will give the same name here. Now when I have given the uh, name of the change the name of the folder I will go into the configuration file which is code is control and here I will give the instance name also a different so that we can differentiate between two different instances. So in the system target, I will change the name of the instance and I have given a different name. Now what we need to do is we need to go back to the uh, program files folder. So here all the configurations are done. I have different folders created and when I go back to the gateway PLC one, here what I need to do is we need to run a command line. So there are two options. Uh, means we can run through the command line, uh, one as a command line instance and another one as a service. So I'm going to provide you different different options how we can run. So which service we actually need to run is the courses control service. So now courses control exe and hyphen d. So when we put this particular command and click enter, then it will start a new instance as I am running in a demo mode so it will say that it is running in a demo mode and we can see here that another instance is running so let me start uh, another instance also so now if you see we have the two instances running on the same laptop on the same system so we can download and we can now work as we work on a normal uh, windows instance okay so i can download the program i can do all the work whatever is needed so this is running on the command line basically so if i toggle the logic so it is happening everything is happening as normal occurrence happen i can download on the second instance also so as i am running two instances so we can create multiple instances by the same same methodology and we can see here that i can be able to download it on the different instance also in the different program so on the same laptop we are able to run multiple instances okay so this is running on the command line if i close the command line uh, that instance will get uh, destroyed and now i will be having only one 
instance which is running in the system tree. Okay. Now there is another command which we can utilize to run it as a service where it will not be running with the uh, the command line has to be kept open. So hyphen r. So now with code service dot exe hyphen r, even if I close, okay, it will keep running. So you can see the instance is created. I close the command line, but I am able to download and execute all the logic. Everything I will be able to do it here. So these are the two different methods uh, how we can run the multiple instances. So if you see, I am able to go online and download the program and able to execute. Thanks for watching. That's all for this video. Uh, see you in the next one.